A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for Monday, 18th November. On the front page, you have Muslim Law Board to file review plea against Ayodhya verdict. So, Muslim Law Board, that is All India Muslim Personal Law Board, has declined the five-acre land allotted to Muslims, you know, in Ayodhya and has decided to file a review petition against the Supreme Court verdict in Bam Babri Masjid Ram Janmabhumi's case. It has said that the five-acre land allotted will not heal the wounds caused. And this is Gotabaya wins in presidential poll. So, ruling party candidate in Sri Lanka has lost despite leading in Northeast. So, President like Gotabaya Rajapaksa, whose brother of former President of Sri Lanka, Mahinda Rajapaksa, has won the elections. Then, here you have allow Farooq to attend House opposition. So, opposition parties in Unison have questioned Narendra Modi government on detention of Lok Sabha member and former Jammu and Kashmir Chief Minister Farooq Abdullah. So, but no definite response was given. So, he is detained in Jammu and Kashmir. He is a Lok Sabha member. The winter session of parliament is commencing and they are asking how, a, how can a parliamentarian be detained illegally? He should be allowed to attend parliament. Then, then this is marriage not good enough to quash rape FIR, Delhi High Court. So, is marriage good enough reason to caution FIR for rape if both the offender and the victim decide to settle the case? Delhi High Court says no. This is a significant verdict that will have implications on large number of rape cases in India. So, High Court ruled that offense of rape falls under the category of heinous and serious crime which cannot be quashed even if the parties have settled their dispute or got married. And this is Delhi water is 100% safe, they, says Delhi Jal Board. So, we saw in news yesterday that BIS, Bureau of Indian Standards, said that Delhi's water was most unsafe among 21 state capitals. But Delhi Jal Board says that it is the safest. So, Delhi Aids have been assured by Delhi Jal Board. It's the Delhi Jal Board's responsibility to ensure safe drinking water. On page 7, you have seismometer other key devices at Jayakwadi Dam go out of order. So, this is a seismometer which measures the magnitude of an earthquake. And several other key instruments installed at Jayakwadi Dam in Aurangabad district in Maharashtra have stopped functioning properly. So, this is what an official says is a retired staff of Maharashtra Engineering Research Institute. So, he has expertise in repairing these devices. And, uh, you know, it, uh, so the, the, they have been uh, roped in by the authority to fix these problems. And on page 9, you have cracking the online ad game. The BJP outperforms the Congress. So in the states where it, swells, it swept all seats, the party was the biggest spender on online ads. So, despite having lesser number of advertisements, BJP's winning percentage was more than that of Congress. Then below you have, Supreme Court discusses voluntary code of conduct for cabinet ministers. So, the court is examining if additional restrictions should be put on public functionaries' right to, right to free speech and expression. So, Constitution Bench of Supreme Court is looking into this matter. So, it says such a code, sub, you know, this is required, would be put forth before this, by this five judge bench of the Supreme Court. So, the freedom of speech of cabinet ministers should be restricted to protect the citizens' fundamental rights to lead a dignified life. On the editorial page, the first editorial is back to the Rajapaksas. So, this is regarding Sri Lankan presidential election, which is there on the first page, front page. So, this says with a decisive mandate, Gotabaya Rajapaksa should work to prove detractors wrong. And this is quality on tap. So, this is regarding BIS survey on water quality, Mumbai's water quality being best and Delhi's worst. So, this editorial says that empowering consumers with rights is essential in improving quality of water supply. And presently, we also have a separate uh, ministry for Jal, you know. So, this is important in that context. 
then this is the fountain head of india's economic malaise so this is regarding uh, indian economy it's an, an article written by former prime minister manmohan singh so it says the citizenry's distrust in institutions and lack of confidence in the government have caused a prolonged slowdown so the details are the reasons for you know the present situation of the economy and there's a risk of stagflation that is stagnation with inflation so that is the dangerous territory you know which from which you, it would be hard for a large economy to recover and this is the false allure of english medium schooling so andhra pradesh government recently had announced that all its government schools would have english as its medium of instructions so this ruling or this order of the andhra pradesh government this article says will prove counterproductive so its points against such order have been given here so english education is something which all parents seek for their children and it is a global language as it is accepted so andhra pradesh government also said though the medium of instruction is english the other languages would be taught like telugu would be taught another language can also be taught so state run schools will be having three language system too then on opet page again you have an article on rajapaksa government of sri lanka so former uh, president of sri lanka mahinda rajapaksa he was considered as an authoritarian ruler it was during his time that uh, uh, ltt was also defeated then this is secularism in the time of security so this article says that it is to be seen whether the bogey of security will allow the bjp to circumvent constitutional strictures so based on uh, based on and emphasizing on security the bjp government uh, subverts constitutional provisions so this is what is being spoken on on page 13 you have will gotabaya make peace with india so he has been elected as president of sri lanka and you know it is said given his polarized mandate sri lankan president elect may need new delhi's help in tamil regions the north and east regions where he couldn't win a majority but overall he has swept the elections and will be sworn in as president of sri lanka so this talks of even india sri lanka relations in the context and this is minimum operating price sought for online sales so in an effort to create a level playing field for online and offline retailers confederation of all india traders has written to commerce minister piyush goel seeking implementation of a minimum operating price below which items cannot be sold so this is the demand being made and this is insurance companies to merge as planned finance minister so finance minister has said government would move forward on merger of the three state run general insurance companies as announced in the previous budget you should know this is national insurance company limited united india insurance company limited and oriental insurance company limited so these would be merged so the financial financial position presently is weak so the merger could not move ahead but now you can see they have the, the insurance companies are demanding capital infusion from the government so the government has to put in capital in them so so recapitalization is required so that is why the merger has been delayed but now finance minister has announced that merger would take place as planned on international page you have this coverage on sri lankan president elect winning elections and then you have the leaked papers give details of jinyan clamp down so the claim or the allegation which has been made that at injinian province of china uighur muslims are being detained in these detention centers so it is now through leaked papers has come, it has come to be known that 1 million from minority groups have been detained in such centers then on mondays on business page you have money wise coverage which is not important and also later you have e plus and sports related news which is not important so these were the important headlines for detailed coverage of current affairs you can visit our website asia.com thank you